Women and the Chief Guest of Today's Program, Lakshman Reddy Sir, Respected Executive Director, Sridhi Chandrasekhar Yadav Sir, and Director, Chekishan Yadav Sir, Invited Guests, and uh, Total uh, PDs, and uh, Deans, HODs, Last but not the least, the participants, winners, and the students of this great institution. A very good afternoon to all of you. So, in fact, always it is a great moment whenever we get an opportunity to be a part of students' appreciation program. And particularly when it is inclined towards this force. And I must tell you that how much interest our chairman is having towards this force. I think each and every one of you would have witnessed and would have understood. And I would also uh, uh, wanted to bring it to your notice that today afternoon, sir is already occupied with one program. But sir is sidelined that program and sir told that no sir, as it is a sports day and particularly from St. Martin Engineering College, I will be there for you and I will be there for you. So we thank you sir, the uh, gratitude what you have shown and the affection what you have shown towards us and uh, sir is present in front of us to witness all of your success and also to understand what all different achievements Sir Martin has achieved in the field of sports. As you know, here how the academics and placements were given the priority and the equal priority is given to the sports. With respect to that, as Sandeep was narrating to you, recently we have recruited another two PD and exclusively we have recruited a lady PD also because so many girl students were there and also to just to nurture their skill set in sports, we have decided to recruit and strength or increase the manpower in the physical education department. So, down the line, we have decided to start the yoga classes, already it was going on and because of the COVID and continuously you had the examination scheduled, so that has been postponed. So we have decided to start the yoga classes for all and in addition to that we have decided karate classes, it was going on smoothly, you all were actively participating. Now again I have decided with the karate master, again there will be exclusive karate classes for you and in addition to that the construction work in front of the Freshman Engineering Department it is going on. So there also we are planning to bring out a skating ground. So who are all interested to go for skating? So that also that facility also will be provided. <laughs> and all these things you will see within two months of time. Everything, all facilities will be provided to you. In addition to that, adding further to the uh, appreciation and the priority what St. Martin gives for the sports facilities, we are deciding to invite two different coaches because as you know, dance is the finest form of one activity and that is why we have decided to invite two different coaches, one gents and one lady and we need to have a dance club over the institution, so who are all interested for that, you can come forward and be a part of this dancing club member. So all you will see within two months of time and that all facility will be provided. So now, really we need to understand all these things for any engineering college, is it all, anywhere it is available? It is not there. It is not there. You can also, your friends might be studying anywhere, you can check it out. But in San Martin, intense care was given not only to academics or the placement and also to the sports. Because as you know, if you are actively part of sports activities, sports means not the sports or the games, what we play in the mobile phone or in the laptop or in the computer. Okay, so I am not talking about those sports. Okay, the sports which we are doing it in ground. So that is treated as the sports activities. So that is why all the time chairman used to you know, advise you all at least one hour you have to devote for yourself whatever the activity you like. You perform cycling, you perform running, you perform jogging or you perform swimming. Anything, whatever you like, where your interest is there, that you need to do it. And that will make you fit, that will make you fit and fine. Both. 
At the age of 79, or I can round it because hardly a couple of months left over, start to attain 80. 80 years. Let us have a big round of our chairman, sir. Couple of months are left over to attain 80 years. Till today, every day, we think that you know, ourselves is busy. What busy you are? Sir has to maintain five, five colleges and recently now one medical college and so many things. Beyond all these things, our support wholeheartedly for his son on all the political activities. But never miss cycling, swimming, whatever possible, and yoga, you know, every day Sir does that. So, we need to ask a question to ourselves. Really we are busy, how Sir is busy? Really we are busy of that much, you know. It is just a mindset. If it is convinced in the mind that I need to do, we will do that. See, in Hyderabad I have seen Telugu movies will be released. First day, first show. If it is decided in the mind, who can stop you for not getting the ticket? You have so many ways and means to get the ticket. How is it possible? Because it is a mindset. It is decided in the mind. And the mind is such a magnet, once it is conceived in the mind, that will happen. So that is why, in this platform, I would like to again reiterate the advice what Sari used to give every day about the about the sports activity and giving the priority to the sports activities. So, in this junction, I thought, how somebody can focus on sports? Okay, so there are so many suggestions, so many advices and so many motivations. So I thought, how it is possible and how somebody has to focus on sports? Because so many excuses are there. If we will think about sports, we don't mind to spend one hour on mods, on reel and Facebook, Twitter, so many social media sites are there. We don't mind. Just like that we spend one hour. The moment we question about spending half an hour for sports, then there are excuses. There are reasons. Okay, so then I was thinking, how it can be avoided? So then one answer it came to my mind. Okay, if somebody is focused, somebody is focused. What kind of focus? There are two types of focus is there. If you put a light, now lights are on, you can see, right? It is focused. Yes or no? It is focused. Now, this kind of focus on sports, it will not motivate you to do. What kind of focus is required? It is also a light, but it is slightly different. What is that light? Laser light. You have seen the laser light, right? It is a pinpoint focus. Where I want to focus, where I want to put that light, it will go and hit to that object only. That is also a focus light. This is also a focus light. So that laser sharp focus we need to have. And how it will come? It will come through self-motivation. I will just narrate a small story in that and you will understand. There was a girl, her name was Deepa and every day her practices are every day early morning 7.30 she will go to a temple. Near to her home, one Shiva temple was there. She used to go and every day she will worship for 15-20 minutes and she will come back and she will go to her college and her activities she will continue. So this she was doing for couple of days, couple of months. So one day what she noticed, there are some other ladies also will be coming to the temple because temple is not meant for somebody, only for exclusive one person. It is for everyone, everybody can go. She noticed other ladies have come in the name of doing the puja. So they were all chit chatting among themselves and what is the gossip going on? In yesterday's serial, TV serial, what had happened? What will happen in tomorrow's episode? And one lady is talking about how bad her mother-in-law is. And another lady is talking about her husband is irresponsible. Another lady is talking about how her children are not at all obedient, not good in study. All these discussions were going on. So this Deepa is really thinking, okay, what is the purpose of coming to the temple? And what the people are doing? In this context, she could not able to concentrate and she could not able to perform the puja. 
So if the days were going like this, every day she was getting distracted and disturbed, but she was going because she wanted to do the puja, every day she has to go to temple. Okay. One day what happened, there was a big banner and big holding was there. One big Swamiji will be visiting to the temple and he wanted to give one nano piece of pravachan or the advice okay, to all the devotees. And time was written evening by 5 to 6. Okay. So Deepa had seen that and Deepa had decided to go and attend. And what she did, instead of 5 o'clock, she went and reached to Swamiji by 4 o'clock itself. Because she had some question in her mind, she wanted to ask to Swamiji. Okay. Then luckily she got the appointment of Swamiji because that time Swamiji was free, program was supposed to start by 5 o'clock. So she asked to Swamiji, Swamiji, I have a question. If you clarify that, I will be more happy. Then Swamiji asked, okay, tell me your question. Question is, she explained her problem. Okay, every day I used to come to temple for worshipping the God, but these ladies who are all coming, they were involved in the gossiping, chit-chatting and particularly finding the problems. All these things were happening. Okay, then Swamiji will ask, are you listening every day? Yes, I am listening every day. And what is the remedy for me? Because I want to completely concentrate and I want to do my activity. And after all, temple is not a place to have all this kind of chit-chat and distractions. You understood that doubt? Doubt is clear? Okay. Swami is listen and smiled and looked at her and told that one, yes, your problem I will solve within one day of time. But I will tell you one instruction that you have to follow and get it done. If you are ready for that, I will solve your problem. By tomorrow your problem will not be. Then Deepa will say, yes, whatever you say, sir, I will do. Okay. Do one thing. Tomorrow morning also you will be coming for puja? Yes, I will be coming. Do one thing. Take one small container. Like normally we fill the water, no? we carry the water to the God. You fill your container at home with the water. Okay. Don't bring the empty container and fill it in the temple. You bring the water from your home and the rule is that it should be completely filled. Okay, and you have to come and pour that water on God. Okay, that's all I have to do. Yes, that's all you have to do. But only one simple condition is, while bringing that water to the temple, see to it, not even one drop of water should be falling down. You got that instruction clear? Okay, so Deepa understood, even though it was a bit difficult, but it is not that impossible. Okay, so... Next day Deepa wake up ready and uh, no, filled the container and she was carrying. And she was carrying and very carefully because what was the instruction? Not even a drop of water also should fall down. So very carefully she was carrying that uh, container and she was no, with great difficulty she reached the near the temple. And temple also there are some 12 steps she has to climb. With great difficulty she climbed the temple and she was so happy because no disturbance has happened and her container is full of water. But she bought it from the Pope. Okay. So she reached, she reached the stage. she went inside the temple and she poured the water on God's side. Finished her work. Then immediately she was so happy. Because whatever the instruction was given by Swamiji, she could have to fulfill. So she was so happy and by running she went to Swamiji and she said that one, okay. So, sir, whatever you instructed, I did it. Now you tell me how I will solve my problem. Then Swamiji will ask, on the way while you are coming, how many ladies were there and what you were discussing? You didn't tell that one first. What you listen today? On the day you had so many things to listen to. No, no, I did not focus because no, I was focused on my water. That is called Sar focus. <coughs> so we have to focus, concentrate. So the moral of the story is, if we are focused and we are concentrated, what we need, then undoubtedly we will achieve it. So in this forum, I take this opportunity to congratulate all the prize winners who are all going to be felicitated on stage and I would like to extend my all the best wishes for all the future winners. Today who are all not going to get 
but I really appreciate if you have taken the dare and the interest to participate in this sports. So let us have a big round of applause for all the prize winners who are all going to be felicitated today. And let us have a big round of applause again for all the participants particularly who were there enough to come out from their comfort zone and participate in the games. And nothing is impossible if you are there enough to come out from your comfort zone and participate. Start contributing for yourself. Success, it will be there for you. So even though you might not be getting the prize today, nothing to be demoralized. Tomorrow, somewhere in some other forum, you will be definitely felicitated and that day you will be remembering yours. Okay, so that is why only the only and only only message to you all that we need to devote some time for sports and we need to be a part of sports and sports activities need to be inculcated in our body and mind and sometimes need to be devoted for that. Before I sign out, I remember about the Muhammad Ali what he had given a famous quote. Okay, the champions were not made in gyms, they were made by the commitment and determined and the internal thoughts what they were having inside. So they were not made in the gyms. Okay, so that is what you know that Muhammad Ali, how big champion he was and there are so many medals and credibility to his name. And this sports nowadays, it is not ended with one activity or an sports, sports uh, path. It is, it will fetch you name, it will fetch you good health, it will fetch you fame and it will fetch you uh, good salary, income and the job also. Because nowadays you know everywhere sports quota jobs are also available. So that is why who are all doing good, my sincere advice to you, you fine tune, fine tune your skill set so that you can perform better, so that you will get all the additional benefits which are all available for the other people. And similarly those who are all initiated the activities, all the very best so that you should perform well and you should give us an opportunity to invite you on stage and felicitate you. That will be a great day for all of us. So thank you for listening to me and have a great day ahead. And once again, I would like to congratulate all the present winners as well as the future winners of the day. Thank you very much.